Okay, so Hurricane Sandy was last week, and what it did to the corn, at least most of the corn, is snapped off the stalk just above the ear. Now, I said most of it, but we've got this issue here, which, you know, you put the snouts in the ground and it'll peel that back up again, or pick it back up again, which is fine, you know, and I'll be in here today. I'm hoping I'll be in here today, well, this, this afternoon anyway. It's two o'clock now, so. But anyways, what I wanted to do is show you what it looks like and how low the ears are. And this is, uh, this is deer damage. Them little bastards will come right up there and you can see the tracks right there, all through this, and they'll just nibble the shit right out of that. They'll nibble that corn. Um, they'll knock it over. They'll, you know, there's corn laying on the ground there where the little you can see the kernel right there and there and all over the place here. So they're probably taking five, ten bushels a night out of these fields. That's why I hate white-tailed deer so much. Uh, you can't shoot them in the corn rows because, well, you just can't shoot them in here. Um, but anyway, yeah, uh, they're low to the ground, these ears. Here's my knee. I did this update earlier, but my knee is here where my pants are kind of chopped out. This one here is just about at my shin. So they're very, very low, and but yielding like a son of a gun. I mean, really, 140, 130 in the low spots, the high spots, 180, 190. So really good yields. Uh, yeah, so I'm not complaining about the yield. It's just the, the really dry weather we had in July and everything else has really kind of put a damper on the pamper here. So, anyways, um, yeah, corn's coming off around 18, 19% now. Uh, it should be drying out better because it's, it's uh, windy. But, anyway, yeah, just more corn updates and give you a little perspective of what the corn looks like out here in the field. So, anyways, thanks for watching.